Greetings Mac Warriors. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is TTB speaking and welcome back to Mac Warrior Online. And today we're running the Fafnir again because I haven't been running a Fafnir in quite a bit and I wanted to go into a little bit more detail on the Quad LB10 build which in my opinion is one of the most fun builds that you can play on the Fafnir FNR-5. Yes, you're quite slow actually with uh, 44.5 kph on this particular build so we have to be very very careful to make sure that you don't fall back behind your team and then get eaten up alive by light uh, mechs that just chew at you with little piranha teeth or little arctic cheetahs and that kind of stuff. And of course you want to make sure that you keep your armor in the fight and that you make sure that you share your armor with your teammates. So that being said, let's try and be at the front line here with another Fafnir buddy over there. And what I'll be trying to do is I'll be trying to use my hard weapon mounts uh, and try to use those high weapon mounts to shoot a little bit at that linebacker that for some reason is right now all the way over in no man's land. And by no man's land I mean he's at our spot and they don't like that. Uh, same thing for the fire starter actually and that... <laughs> I don't know what these guys are doing. Um, Seems a little bit suicidal to me, but luckily he gets out Thank mostly God. unscathed, but a little bit pelted. <laughs> By the way guys, what I'm doing right now is, is a pretty much a waste of ammo because uh, these targets are too small and too fast to really get some damage in. I just wanted to get them gone. Oh, that won't be a waste of ammo though. That is two assault mechs over there as well as a Uzeal. Okay, I can keep shooting that. Let's go on the Atlas with that shot a little bit. Of course, you need to make sure that you aim a little bit in front of the target so the pellets hit better. Let's see. Yep, that was better. Okay, let's just stay on the Atlas. Uh, medium max stepping in front of me, unfortunately, so I couldn't shoot right now, but that's okay. Teammates are learning him, and we just keep shooting him. I just need to move a little bit because I'm becoming the a center of attention for all the enemies that are moving towards the Gulf 8 area. And I don't want that, so let's keep on moving. Over to the side and we'll just push into the Atlas, hopefully killing him very, very fast. Let's see, can we shoot him from here? Yes, we could, but not too much damage done. But we can shoot the enemy Uzeal that just went through, as well as another buddy. It's another Uzeal buddy, okay. Wow, they really like that Epsilon Hill. Look at that. Okay, there we go. Lima taken out through her legs and now we can keep on pushing on onto the linebacker, as well as another fire starter that lost his leg. That's good. Perfect. Oh. Hello Mr. Zeus, you don't want to be here. Nope, <laughs> you don't want to face this. Okay, team is a little bit scattered right now, but uh, I'll just use my ECM as well as this position right here to shield myself against the enemy damage as much as possible and potentially hide, hopefully hide. Yeah, that's definitely hide and then go on the death strike. Hello buddy, you wanna brawl? Let's brawl. Can I actually do this? Is this suicidal? Yeah, this is pretty much suicidal right now. <laughs> Shot. It's like he just he just literally put his nose onto my shotgun and now we go for crotch shots on the mad cat. Come on, can we do it? Can we do it? On the ass? No? On the face? Yep. There we go. Ooh, battle master coming in. Third assault mech in short time. Can we go for the face? Ah, sad face. No face. Try again. Ah, we got him through the CT. Alright. Let's push in on Fox Threat Enemy Rafted. There's another guy to our right in Fox 9. Whatever we can see first, we will shoot. Uh, okay, nothing here. Nine kills up on four. The unfortunate truth is, guys, even with the slow speed that I have, I only have 12 shells left. That's three shots. That's it. That's all I have to take out three targets with my teammates. So uh, let's make those three shots count, shall we? Let's see, what do we have over here? It's a roughneck, he's opened both side torsos, and you see I'm walking in now. I'm actually taking the time to get as close as possible, because I want most of those shells on my target. Let's see, Foxtrot, yeah, maybe, maybe, he's still too far, I'm still not shooting. Here we go, one more, there we get Hotel, and Foxtrot, can we get him? Shoot. Ah, a teammate claims him before us. GG, well played. Weird game. I haven't had many games that actually dissolve into a huge brawl at Epsilon, but that was intense and that was interesting. And I got zero shells left. Five killing blows, five assists, three solo kills, five kill most damage dealt, 959 damage done, and five components taken out with one shotgun headshot to the face, taking out the Zeus. 
poor Captain Underpants. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and move into the next match and see what we can do. Over here, ah, in the Viridian Bog, can you smell that? That is the smell of decomposing plants and decomposing animals and lots and lots of warmth heating up my mech, which I don't like. But the good thing is we've got four every 10 so we don't care that much about heat, so that is perfect. Let's keep on moving here. I actually pushed a little bit on the right side trying to make sure that I can hit the enemy from an odd angle they don't expect and with ECM you have a good chance doing that. By the way, can we shoot that raven? I kinda want to. Both his legs are open. Oh, different raven. Okay, I'll shoot that one then. That's fine. Apparently there's a nest of ravens here somewhere and a dire wolf that thinks he is shutting my teammates, but that's okay. That's okay. We will just slowly convince him to go somewhere else. Yeah, I think he's sufficiently convinced now and his CT is almost caught out for the back, so that's good. The ravens are still down here, need to be careful about those, don't want to get hit in the back. There is one. Come on, hello, come on, come on. Ah, of course I get hit into the back, damn it, the tunnel vision on the raven. I don't know what hit me though. Weird. That is decidedly weird. I think it was one of the guys from Echo 5. That's okay, we'll just keep on pushing. That was a bad hit to take, but luckily we took it on the CT and no components got destroyed. And still I'm getting hit into the back. Okay, this guy. Alright, alright buddy. Alright, you wanna play? You wanna play with your Mad Cat? Let's play with the Mad Cat and with the Supernova. I'm gonna play with all of you guys. Whoa! Okay, they all wanna play with me. That's perfect. Uh, let's just keep on Charlie. He can't really defend against my power. One more shot should actually go to CT if I can do it. Where are my teammates? Ow, this is painful. Hopefully I don't lose my side torso. The good thing is we still have our LB10s alive. That's good. I'm just gonna move myself a little bit closer to this wall. And then ask for help. And then hopefully we'll have some teammates slowly crawling over here. Because otherwise I can't really fight this. Let's see if some enemies are stupid enough to drop here. If they are, that would be perfect for us. Um, it's a rifleman over there. He is pretty fresh though. Can't do much against him. Can just shell these guys from the side a little bit. And you really need to keep myself off the front lines right now, because I've taken a lot of damage. Uh, the Griffin should be falling any second through a CT shot. Supernova is also ready to drop, and if he's open, we can do that quite quickly. Let's go ahead. Yep, I can't hit all of my shells right now, but I'm still doing significant damage from the back. That's good. Okay, uh, on to the side torso. Yeah, just keep shooting the nose if possible. Boom! There we go. He's done. Alright, now we can go on to Lima, the Rifleman is still pretty fresh and he's got an AC-20. <laughs> that is uh, creepy. That's a creepy Rifleman actually. Machine guns, medium pulses and an AC-20, okay. And we still have an Assault Mech, I believe, to my right, so I need to be careful here, but I'm gonna use my ECM again to try and sneak around here. This is a very, very close combat. Okay, here, he's coming around this corner. So, come on. And now he's hiding behind the bush. Or tree or whatever, I can't help these guys over there. But I can shoot Echo. It's 277 meters, that's good range for my LP10s. Boom! Through the back, perfect. XL check complete. Three more enemy targets left. Oh, actually, four targets left. Let's go on Juliet the Duzeal. Uh, I need to be careful now with my ammo. Is he coming for me? No, not really, he's going for my teammate. So let's keep on him. If he's XL engine, one more shot should do it if we hit the side torso. Let's see, can we hit it though? Ah, okay, well, too many targets left, four targets coming up on me now, can I at least get the Rifleman? Nope, I can't, because I get shot in the back once more, ah, sad face, sad face, this round unfortunately was not to be, but it was a nice intense brawl and I felt a little bit lost. Nevertheless, two killing blows, three assists, one solo kill, two KMDDs, eight components taken out and 1110 damage done so yeah yeah together with direwolf i think we did a lot of damage we did actually a really good job um and then the nova cat also helped out um some other guys uh, need to eat a few more cookies before they can go ahead and play and brawl effectively okay let's have a quick look at the build on the screen four lb10s in the fafnir 5s and the rest is just ammo, Guardian ECM of course, don't forget that, Endo Steel, Double Heat Sinks and a standard engine 280. Not too fast this mech, but uh, you got the firepower that you need, so go ahead, try it out, let me know if you like it. This has been TTB in the Fafnir, bye bye.